they have picked. Okay, well, we'll see how it is going to go, because we're going to be able to get ourselves ready to get into game number one. This is his one of his best heroes. He tends to be very greedy oh, with it, though. Speaking um, of him. Collapse. He's in a lot of trouble. He's going to turn around and fight. Die like a man. That's what you do. Disruptor, however, will do the same thing. Actually, the repulsion, Shinra Tensei on Mira, just pushing him away. And the vision is being given. No way. No way he got that at the perfect moment on respect. It changes back to Tiny doing relatively okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, the raises do hurt quite a lot in top lane. It might hurt for Hatoru here. He's getting pretty low cloud as well. Oh, they got it. That was so close. That was so close. Miposhka could have died easily before the Underlord and Cloud. He recognized it. That's why he t turned around to get the right clicks in as well. Yeah, it is It is a hero that... Like, you just have so much base damage. Uh, even against Morphling, you're just reducing his own. Look at it's... bottom lane. Again, oh, they're my. fighting. And speaking of squishy heroes with low armor, Kodwink is one of them, but then again, Double board, it does baby. open up for collapse, and this rundown is insane. Again, the repulsion coming to play just before he dies, but the uh, the units are not going to have issues. Chira pressuring Laurel, doing a lot of damage, but this is a problem because the TP is coming in. He doesn't have the mana. Hoodwin can be super annoying to him with the blood grenade. There will be a bushwhack not pulling him super far behind. There will be a toss with the toss facet. It just does way too much damage. Chira getting ahead of himself. Does leave Collapse all alone, so he should be able to be brought down right now with the Blood Grenade being used. Glimpse as well, into the hands of the Monkey King and Boundless Strike to end the life of Collapse. Still gonna be a kill. Mm -hmm. Time for the runes here, they're gonna TP on one of the supports in the mid lane. Lara just trying to get lucky, but it is on the bottom side with Mira picking it up. And he's coming. This is a problem for Chira, not gonna lie. They're gonna try to finish off with Poshka. That's the second raise that Chira has oh, missed no. in a row with the Bushwhack. He's looking very much dead. He's gonna try with the Requiem. Oh. Actually gets it off, so there will be a lot of souls released there. Now Laurel caught. The two supports don't have enough damage. Disruptor is not known for doing quite a lot of it. And now even walks into the tower to get a shot into it. Look at Mira. Just getting himself a double kill, being there around the mid lane to make sure Laurel is having a great time. I really like it though. Sense. They're smoking and Underlord has his OT. So this could be a way for them to defend. You TP the Shadow Fiend and the Underlord can come through. This could be a big fight for one lane. Yeah, they're going for Collapse, trying to finish him off, but the Bushwhack stops the Requiem. Nice bound to strike Collapse, doesn't get the Roar off immediately. He gets it off to stop the Requiem for a second time, which won't come out. And I think that's fine for Chira. With uh, immediately Cloud returning from once he came in. Laurel gonna be rotating as well. Respect put himself in a very uncomfortable position. There's gonna be a toss. Arcane Rune on Laurel gets pushed back by the Repulsion, but gets the kill beforehand. Toss misses the Rubik. No slow on Sweden Strong. Be hiding behind the tower. It is nighttime, but they see him clearly. There's gonna be an acorn shot slowing him down. Laurel still coming forward. Arcane Rune tiny. This early on into the game is a problem. He reduces his damage. The Echo Storm oh, gets they found. Mokushi Atoro is gonna be rotating as well and dodges the Boundless Strike. Actually, wasn't even used in the end. Rubik does manage to survive. Sweden Strong gets himself away, but in the end, it is still a win for Spirit. It's pinged by Atoro, though. He somehow is aware of this. Well, SF has a blink. So let's see how he will be able to use it. There's a lot of stuff that he has smoke. to be careful about. Oh, they got him with the Echo Stomp. Oh, no, static storm, there's no. an AD rune as well, but they have the Static Storm. They have the Pit of Malice. It was a bait that they're going to be running into, but even from afar, this tiny is doing way too much damage. They already brought down one hero, Stolen Avalanche as well. Into the Wukox, man. That set gets into a great position to separate Team Spirit, and they get this get themselves two kills. Bushwhack off oh, the glimpse, of glimpse as well. Wasn't that good of a glimpse, but maybe good enough to land themselves yeah, a Toro. Going to be Turning around on to Chira, trying to finish it off way from forward, but he has gotten maybe too far. He does get the kill. Let's see if he gets himself out. Avalanche from the Rubik is still not enough. He turns into Rubik himself, but finally back into his more form. Gets the uh, HP back. Mukushi, nice boundless strike. Is it enough to live though? With a glimpse back onto Collapse, it might just be enough. Mukushi gets himself away. Cloud coming forward with very low HP. Another avalanche from Sweden Strong. He's really doing so much. Yatero turns into Rubik, uses an avalanche oh, of his own, and Mira, I have no idea how how he's still alive. Only yeah. other one, maybe Bushwhack, but the Avalanche oh, look is at that. They're definitely gonna break the smoke. one. They know exactly what's happening here. Mm, and the blink in from the time, but into the Static Storm gets lifted up as well. SF gonna be releasing the souls. Nobody can come to help Laurel. He thought he was going for a good play. The scan was used in Spirit. Still thinking about fighting, and they're gonna think again as Makushi is coming. Bound to strike. There should be a glimpse, glimpse coming, and that is a bonus. Mira won't be getting out this time. 
right, you gotta give it to one win. They just came from a BO5. They get after this blink, but uh, one win awareness and how they're positioning, kind of predicting the movements from Team Spirit is very good. Like that warding between mid tier one and tier two is what gave them all of the intel they needed. And now they glimpse back this tiny. Oh, Manta Dodge, Illusion Room. Oh, beautifully done by Laurel. No, 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 this guy, he, he won the eye. You know, you cannot, uh, you cannot glimpse him back to the base. He doesn't fall for plays like that. Oh, that is true. But that's such a hard kill. He has mental on cooldown though, so this could be the opening. But you can lift him up, glimpse him. There's gonna be it. Bound to strike static storm. He didn't get the shift off, meaning that he's gonna go down. Yatoro has been having a perfect game up until this moment. If he didn't look at this, they're gonna straight up Roche. Can Team Spirit stop this? They have heroes nearby. I mean, you're going to an ET. This is not yeah. an easy play, and they don't have great Roche heroes. SF is good with the raises, but it's gonna take some time. The second that you see, oh, what? here comes Avatos, and he gets the kill there with the spirit. There's just so much magic damage increased, and that's gonna be another one. I don't know what one win we're thinking. They caught ahead of themselves. There's gonna be a roar onto the Rubik, just making him another bonus, and it just opens up the Roche spirit. One win, we're playing so well. I wanna defend this Tormentor, so I like the play, but Team Spirit also aware. Trying to wrap around where they are. Monkey King will break the smoke. He doesn't have BKB though. You gotta be very careful. He does dodge it. Lift up onto the tiny. He didn't steal the avalanche. Oh, got it. Got it in the end there. The tree toss. Didn't come out in time. That's gonna be a big one. Bound to strike onto the tiny. That was a big echo storm power. They need to protect their bodies. The roar onto the SF. Even with the BKB being used. That's a big static storm. Is it enough for him to get the get it. No, but it doesn't matter. The death requiem gets two core kills. Collapse, however. Still has the Aegis. A very hard kill. Even without it. Bound to strike. Might get him. Super low, and there's the Fade Bolt to finish off first of his two lives. Bushwax, Sweden strong. Nice Glimmer Cape to dodge it. This Mira is now being targeted. It doesn't have much to play with. Collapse moved away from the Monkey. Munkushi still thinking twice about coming forward, and they found Collapse. He turns around with the uh, Wild Axes, and that's going to be a beautiful Pounder Strike. Onto the two supports. Collapse in a lot of trouble, but the Monkey he needs to do damage in the end. Now. He's still going to be taken out. Team Spirit, they've lost this fight, and they need to get out. With their two remaining heroes, Mira will be successful, and Poshka, not so much. Dude. Are, uh, you're mad that you lost a one versus one versus an SF player yeah, and now he's Shadow a bad Fiend. person. Sure. Oh, I definitely don't play Shadow Fiend. Oh, can he, 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 uh, can he dodge it again? No, oh, it was, in, not it was in his backpack. It was in his oh. backpack, the bottle. Ah, he had the potential. It was so close. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. You're right. That was a uh, that could have been a good play. So Laurel. If you uh, want to win another TI, please, uh, next time, be better, do better. Kayasha on the SF, and they see him. Oh, they He's not going to be up. able to use the Requiem. That's just going to be him destroyed. The Sharpshooter not even needed. He got demolished, of course. The Echo Stop to stop any kind of advance. Gleipner as well, keeping him in place. Mungushi joining in on the fray. Oh, the, the as... total glimpse? Yeah, he did turn into Respect, and Respect is going to be in so much trouble. Yatoro gets lifted up into the air. Doesn't look like they will be able to punish this Morphling. Nice quick kills. Oh, and Roche gonna, yeah. yeah, they know exactly what's going on. How fast is it dying? It's not dying fast enough. And Munkushi, smoke breaks. He sees Miposhka. Cloud, Cloud coming gets forward. Found. He will take a lot of damage. Get tossed away. Stolen he tree grab. On Laurel. This one. is great for one win. And they see him glimpse. It is going to be taking him inside. Kira goes for the Requiem there. Gets roared, but doesn't matter. The Kayasha allows him to get it out fast enough. That's a no buyback tiny. Yeah, they knew because that's a fresh BKB. And now Cloud. So much damage onto it from the Morphling. Kanda really coming into play. There's two Pits of Malice on the oh, ground. Morphling too deep. Munkushi destroys him, bound to strike forward, collapse, caught in it, he's super low as well, respecting a lot of trouble, Mira is still doing a ton of damage, but Sweden's strong, he now has an Acorn shot of his own, getting caught in the Gleipnir, Bushwhack follow-up as well, no sharpshooter, Chira Jr. coming forward, four staff away, Mira will be fine for now, Sweden's strong slow down a little bit as they're trying to get themselves in, nice dodge from Munkushi onto the Echo Storm, comes forward, but Mira... Sharpshooter to get himself away, Miposhka! He's Holy winning! Crap. Okay, lift up just in time. Sweden Strong using the power of the mind. Reads books like one of our panelists as well. Punched in the back, face, whatever. The Spirit are in a smoke. They're searching for a fight. Oh, Good position cloud. for one win every single time. Toss back. The avalanche toss. They want to kill him and they'll be able to cloud. Actually, he gets all of his items off. Not enough to survive. Gets taken out in the end. Mira, the one to get the no kill. No buyback from him. They, yeah, they, they got to disengage.
Ooh, good life there, though. Echo Stomp onto the monkey. He's gonna be sleeping on the job. Nice static storm. It does stop the roar for a second. Collapse instantly goes for BKB. Stolen roar! And that's gonna be him going down. Yatoro gets it around upon Chira. Still running away. The acorn shot almost finishes him off. And he bounces off a tree. The facet of the Hoodwin coming into play to finish off the SF. They don't have the Wukong command very low on Munkushi. Doesn't want to continue fighting one win half to disengage, but they made it somewhat okay by killing the Morphling. Again, it's Sweden strong. He's just playing out of his mind today. Hey! cannot believe how much damage this monkey king is doing to the morphling like he he gets to hit with his statues of the eggs and like he's just creating this morphling for so much oh, oh no betting not over Mankushi the stolen ore get used again they're trying to finish off mira that's a big hero to take down stolen boomerang from the rubik so imagine how much magical damage a fade bolt will do when he used it, Mposhka also found targeted Astral Spirit taken from him. Sweden Strong gets the lift up. Their nice usage of the Ogre Seal Totem and there will be a Fade Bolt to finish it off. Uh, he is, uh, he's too good today. This might be a Roche for them. Fiend, he's going for an Aghanim Scepter. We'll see how fast he can get there. Only buyback is on the Rubik and Tiny on the other side. I think both teams need to focus on getting those up. Yeah, they do. They get some vision, they're gonna smoke. Glaper oh instantly, Avalanche toss onto Mukushi. There will be a Requiem instantly. Larl gets demolished. Not even popping his BKB and Cloud mm. using all of his defensive items, making sure that the Morphling doesn't even touch him. This could be a bait though. Damage. They have BKB and buyback on Tiny, as you yep. said. Like if one win overextends, they use a lot of their spells here. Yep, Morphling coming forward. Nice Glimmer Cape dodges the Adaptive Strike. That's going to be most of the damage. Now the Roar will be connecting as well as the Pit of Malice Force Staff away. Bounded Strike on Yotoro. Needs to run away from this Wukong's command. Almost dies inside of it even while morphing into strength. Wagon him Scepter Miposhka. That's a big one. Yeah, I think he's, he's like baiting a fight. He was poking to see who was nearby and they... Oh, they got to be careful though. Spirit, they want to fight here. They have vision. Oh, he comes oh. to the strong to cosplay a ward, gets a lift up onto the tiny four step away. He's outplaying them so much. And Two BKBs being forced, that's crazy. Beautiful. And here comes Chira with oh, the they Requiem, the he stops the TP, and there's gonna be pulling him in into a static or with an Aghanim Scepter. Yataro is gone. Just God, after damn. they lost their Aegis a minute after Mira are gonna be found as well. Sweden Strong is playing out of its mind in this game, showing Team Spirit how to play Dota, and not a lot of players can say that they're capable of doing so. Yep, yep. And then when you get a connection on the Morphling when he's trying to TP with the, uh, with the fear, and of course yep. when it comes back, it fears him even more. They did find the Monkey King. Okay, Munkushi made a huge mistake. Maposhka will annihilate him. Punish this, though. But uh, no Laro doesn't have a BKB, so he's very much dead. He's going to be eating the trees. Also a glimpse onto Maposhka himself. He's going to get the uh, Spirit back. Toss away Cloud. Just uh, doing some damage to his own buddy, landing on him. Not enough. To... Yeah, and he has this uh, really scary ninja gear. So you have to be very careful around the map. And they're looking. Oh, they find Shouldn't. this back. dead. Kill. And they got him. Roar going to be used. A lift up from the Rubik. With the shard, they're going to be able to save him. Ogre still taught him to the low ground. Cloud is not a hero that you want to target. But uh, if he's all alone, isolated inside of the Pit of Malice of Yatoro, he will ultimately fall. That death of Munkushi. They had the advantage. They had the uh, the map. They were shoving in the waves and he gets caught. Throws away a big lead for his team. Oh, and this spirit so cocky. They're gonna try and poke Roshan, knowing they have no uh, BKBs. I mean, they take it out. Take it out fast. The scan was used. It got them there. So I'm Rose not screaming. sure if one winner aware. They have to be it's, fast. Then they're not gonna be fast enough. Laurel goes in and sacrifices himself for the Roche. Requiem in the back lines will make sure that Mira goes down as well and the rest of Spirit will just have to bail. But this is big because one win are gonna think twice about going high ground without the Aegis. Oh, the Laurel, man. Well, Laurel has been so sacrificial that now he's behind Mira in terms of net worth and only now. Oh, he didn't get it. It was too scary for Mukushi. The AD rune will go towards Yatoro, but wasn't bottled. Four staff away. Cloud is going to be taking so much damage and possibly escaping with a Glimmer Cape. He will be fine. Guardian Greaves as well. Oh, look at it. Meposhka going in. You're not escaping from this guy. He's stolen. What is that? That's the ulti, right? The, uh... You can... I mean, and that's amplified damage, right? This is doing 30% more damage. He's going to destroy oh, them. Boy. 
Yadro though, his right clicks are insane. This time around, you don't have the Underlord to reduce it. He has the Manta, and now they're gonna try to destroy him. Not try, but do. As they will oh, be they're going for the second one. They can't do anything. And also, Lark, he entered in. He Holy wants to die crap. with his buddy. That's gonna be a hero without a buyback. Two heroes without buybacks. They might even get extra. Miposhka is playing around. Gonna be getting his remnant back. No bashes to stop him. He has so much armor. That Splitter dealt way less damage than I thought it was going to. Was it dealt little... no damage. That was underwhelming. But did he oh, look, maybe look at the cheese? wrap around. Oh, and they blink the out boss? the DT. Sweden strong. Ogre Seal Totem to the high ground. Perfect angle. Laurel. So coming forward, there's they those monkey up. warriors. They do find him this time around. He doesn't get the blink off. So he will be going down. Laurel in the same problem without the mid laners. This fight will be fought. Now focusing onto the Underlord. Lift up from the Rubik. Trying to save Pit of Malice will be nice just before death. But the Rubik has been found as well. Finally, they're going to bring down Sweden strong. Or are they without the Ogre Seal Totem? He's just not going to be able to get himself away. That's no buyback on Cloud. A big part of one win success. They've been ahead, and Spirit was just very adamant at contesting at his bottom. Roshans. Look at bottom. They're gonna find Cloud. That is a big deal with the oh, Roar. He's no. not getting out of this one alive. There's so much damage, even with the reductions. And instantly, Morphling Yadro goes in to get the Raxes on top of his well. Look at the perfect scan. Spirit, they find Laro, why though. are they so good? Oh, Laro. They're looking for the Tiny. He's fine. He's okay. Oh, Laro, he's setting up. This is scary here. One win. This could be your demise right now. Is Sweden Strong though will find him, I think. Oh, he gets the lift up, and there's the Static Storm as well with the Requiem trying to push him out. Loses his life. Doesn't have a buyback. Dead for two minutes. Big deal. There's the first Wukong's man. They have refreshers. First as well. Yep. Not one on the uh, structure though. Here. Yeah. They find Oof. Hoodwink Mira. That's not an easy kill, has the BKB Bushwhack, will connect, turning onto the SF, the Hex is there, and the right clicks for Mira are too strong, their supports are doing way too much damage, look at what Miposhka did to the backlines, buyback for the Monkey King and the Rubik, you cannot defend this show, she can only kill the creeps in your base. Dude, Spirit, they are on another level, like, Mira's hoodwink is... Yeah, don't... He's not using the attribute shift whatsoever and jump in from Yadro to the hands of the monkey. He's just making a bit of space. Gonna get a glimpse back into the pit of Malice. Wukong's man being used with the BKB. Yadro should be fine. They need to kill him once and then wait for him with the static storm like last time. Spirit pushed. He gets out. SF is back, so that makes it a bit more dangerous. Oh, they find Daws the Underlord well. again. Look at how out of position he is and also Miposhka in the back lines uses that has been the problem the entire game this underlord being picked off i think like the last three fights oh can they stop yatro here they can the abyssal got there him. we go yeah they got him avalanche toss though they found the monkey king the roar will be there with the bush rack and mira just doing massive amounts of damage finishes him off with the sharpshooter your carry is gone the highest net worth hero of one win will be no more and mira showing just how powerful he can be respect using the shadow amulet their chappy style staying in the game but laurel also finding the two supports avatar's combo not gonna be enough to kill them beautiful kinetic field to keep the enemies at bay while look at what mira is still making sure that nobody can leave the fountain is Echo shots are doing so much damage. Finally, he will be dying to Requiem of Souls. Instantly buys back. He understands that this is the end of game one. If they just focus on it, the Hex on Cloud and the way for finishes him off is they're gonna be diving the Fountain. Solar Roar, Sweden Strong continues with beautiful performances, saving Chira Jr. But he cannot lift up the throne. Oh, uh, the base. Yatoro, go and fight. He still has the Aegis. Even if he dies in the Fountain, it's not gonna be a problem, but the Morphling wave forms away. Considering you just played a BO5 where you lost with Mega Creeps, you gotta give it to them. They played a formidable game, but Team Spirit... ...old pub, but I do think that's the case. <laughs> um, I mean, well, both of these drafts are... Insane. You really want to take this to your 11th game uh, against Team Spirit out of, out of all teams? Maybe that's the idea. Maybe they feel like they need something out of the box to win versus Team Spirit after that game one where one win played. Awesome Dota respect and a lot of trouble. There's gonna be another soul assumption if even needed. Yeah, Collapse uses it just in case. Probably would have gotten a kill anyways. Uh, yeah, curious to see if they're gonna make it work, but I, I still have my doubts about this hero. 
Munkushi was crushing it on NSF when it when nobody was playing it back in one move as uh, Boundless Strike onto both of them. Cloud is coming forward. He wants to get a kill on Meposhka. The Blood Grenade will slow him down enough for the other to get the kill. Sweden Strong morphing a bit into agility to get the extra armor. Now back into strength. And Yataro, he won't be able to get the kill. He needed one more hit and decides not to go for it. Uh, the Storm is aware of this, so Chira will be keeping himself on the other side of the tower. Yeah. More than dying, though, the problem is if he loses the rune. Oh, Nira just zoning him completely here. But there is backup from Sweet and Strong. Miposhka will be coming into the play as well. And the Acorn shot, he got lucky with it. The uh, Blood Grave from the other side, Laurel will be able to create a gap. Respect being only level 2 and Sweet and Strong as well. These two heroes don't do damage. How are they going to kill anybody? Maybe they can kill the Courier Mira inside of the Cogs, taking some damage. Sweet and Strong turning into a shotgun, but we know Morphling hasn't been a shotgun hero for a very long period of time. And Mira just leaves. Cloud on the other side of the map will be taken down by Yadaro, and that is a uh, pretty much a solo kill. Uh, I'm sorry for the Monkey King, but he gets uh, punished really hard. Ooh, yeah, this laning stage not looking very bright for one win. Uh, you know, it didn't look in game one two though, but it's Kira Jr. dies again. This could be the nail in the coffin. He's dying oh, no. the bushwhack onto the two of them. Respect comes over. He wants to die with his team. A uh, pretty nice thing to do. And also with the snowball, will they at least let Mira die? The tower shots not enough. Given a tango by Miposhka. Nobody there tanking the towers, but in the, either way. The Tusk survives. The you, you you just need the OT. Like without the OT, this hero, you know, in the past, support morphling was about uh, stun. his stun on adaptive strike, but it's just not the case anymore. I think it's all about taking really good fights when you turn into a good hero. And well, that's just a dead prime on the bottom side. It just oh, he gets it. Oh, Cloud no, no, got Cloud it. Cloud got it. Oh, there cool. we go. They break the trees. They find Yatoro. Oh, that's gonna be huge as well. They already got the hook. Yatoro is standing his guard and fighting. Gonna get pulled in. If he gets the Jingo stacks, tower, it might change the fight. Nope, he didn't get it with the Bounder Strike. And then, of course, the right clicks are not gonna be good enough. He needed it before. And then to heal on those uh, on those Ancients in the end. That's uh, that's a pretty big win for uh, for the Dire side. Like, it's still very scary to have a level 4 Morphling Min and 8. But we'll see what he can do as they're gonna go for respect. Good shard usage, tacting being used, Mira, snowball to the left, will be fine, but into the hands of the final oh. beast, there will be a bushwhack to stop it, Laurel, he got caught during the heavenly jump, is this gonna happen, no, okay, they had the adaptive strikes with a strong skill, it up on level 4, at least Mira gets the career before he dies, but uh, again, one win, they are really committing for these skills, and they have to, because if you don't bring multiple heroes, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, that's true, uh, still a little bit of not looking good for him. Also, Spirit in a smoke, looking to increase their lead even further. Mira is level 4 as well, so he hasn't been doing the greatest in the experience department either. They find Cloud, Tagging being used with the Bushwhack. He should not be going anywhere. And Sweden Strong, seeing the situation, he just TPs away. Some might get greedy and go to the uh, carry death camp, what it's called. And yeah, Thank you, though. Oh, what an ATOS just in time. Let's see if they can go through the Great Keeper Slope. They don't They don't even get close to taking away any of his damage. Now you're going to get turned around the punch here. Junior doesn't have that much mana. There will be an uppercut punch onto poor Cloud, threatening with the Requiem. Besides, against the Chira, he just doesn't have that much to zip away. TP out should be fine. Right on their high ground, they seem to be wanting to lose a bit more. Shards available, going with the Snowball onto Mankushi is inside of the uh, cogs, being pushed away. Doesn't have mana for the shards. Oh, no. To save himself, and the pushback stops it also from the side. Here comes Yatoro to finish them off. It's the stolen snowball, or, you know, Sweden Strong turning into a tusk. Gonna be trying to get himself away, get multiple kills, force Spirit into some mistakes. Maybe steal the Wisdom Rune, but they probably think it's already been picked uh -huh. up, so they won't be doing it. And oh, even with this all wraparound, yeah. they still kill Miposhka. It's such a good smoke from one win, but still not good but enough. Do spirit. they kill the Poshka? Okay, they, they do. They, at, they le do. at least they kill him. That's fine. It was such a patient smoke. Just just beautiful to see, but not uh, Miposhka. You know, I, I don't even know how this position five players do it, but they, they have a magnet for smokes. And oh, Sweden Strong going for Yatro here, becoming the Hoodwink. What the hell? Why? Can you kill him? Here comes the Onslaught forward as 
well, trying to finish him off. Mischief, not gonna be enough. Pulverize as well. Nobody to castle it at the moment. Yatro dropping low, gets the bottle strike before he dies, but still loses life. And Laurel doesn't have no mana. Requiem from the side, trying to save his buddies. They're already Wait, lost two of them. Sweden strong. He wants to get forward a couple of more hits. He needs one more right click, and it's gonna be enough. Bushwreck from Miposhka, just not there fast enough. Collapse gets a triple kill, but it is a big win. Really wrap around, but do they have a smoke? They it's do night not. time. They can do it. Oh, Actually, do. there it is. But it's just the two supports that are going for it. Collapse going no, from the other side. No, on the left. He's in so much trouble. Yeah, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He's definitely going to be going down. Actually, maybe Requiem into a TP out. Tries to get to the low ground and Bushwhack stops him in his tracks. It is only going to be a death Requiem that gets used. and Fully in control of the map. Kira Jr. Get... is pinging Niposhka though. Oh, but look at Mira. Mira is pinging Kira Jr. So oh. it is completely different. And now the two supports are going to take him down. The hunter becomes the hunted this time around. Yeah, very unfortunate. Uh, you scepter done on Sweden strong, so it does give you leave you with a sour taste in your mouth if you just pick this so late to still get destroyed in the lane. A big part of it is the morphling though, maybe. Oh, speaking of the morphling, he's very low. He out, not gonna be happening. Bushwhack stops it. That was actually a really cool angle for the TP. He went behind the tree and tried to, uh, to get himself out. Yep. Well, he is uh, in a ton of trouble. Requiem to send Yadder away, who has the BKB. Just stands his ground. Wukong's command as well. Also, inside of the cogs, two heroes have been caught. Chiro doesn't have enough mana to get himself away. And again, at the same spot, oh, no. he's going to be going for a DP out to Snowball. Mm, that was so close. That was spirit. You should just methodically play this game right now with the Sagas, get the tier 2s down, and then it's going to be impossible for one to play Dota. Chira. Oh, Chira gets fouled. He got spotted by an illusion and didn't react to it whatsoever. The second that Erglater connected, his life was gone. Sweden they strong. gotta get the hell out. How are they taking this fight? Yeah, well, Sweden Strong turned into a Zeus. You said it was gonna be insane, and he's doing a massive amount of damage. Gets the kill on Collapse and so much gold into his pockets. Though Spirit might decide to re engage. Cloud still has the BKB. Requiem of Souls not available at the moment. There's the Boundless Strike. Where's the BKB? Cloud doesn't even get. Oh, he got it off, and the Pulverize as well. And dropping low, but he's still alive. Cloud getting himself away. He has so much armor as well, as they will be killing those familiar. So not enough for a kill on it him is. as finally he does drop down, but Lara lost his life as well. So there at the same time. Oh, they find Mukushi here. Does have a BKB, a fresh one at that. Yadro has one of his own respect. Hookshot at the ready, thinking about coming forward, and Monkey King with the shard gets himself away. They do find Mushka, however, so oh, that's the miss on the cogs. Or that one got to be deactivated actually. Bushwhack quite nice, very speedy hero. Tries to escape. To the cooldown on this waveform no. is crazy. This four second cooldown waveform, and that's before he gets his 20 most unexpected places. Really hard to deal ward, even if you try there to take them down now. They find okay. it. They do. Respect. Are you gonna die for this? Ulti from oh them. They found the score. God. He used to be there. Sweden strong. Waveform away. That's shards no on the uh, Tusk. So up upgraded shards. That's too much damage. That whoever would have gotten caught by that just would have been demolished instantly. Yeah, there's no save. And I mean, I like what Shadowfiend is doing here. It's just oh no, the Vorfling gets exploded. And that's it now. Now you go forward. This use with the AD rune is stupid strong and Sweden strong. Second Monkey King on the side of Team Spirit, net worth wise, and they also have a Scotty on that Monkey King. Kira, oh my God, he's just dead. Always they find the storm. In game, in competitive, in high competitive dispatch, just all looking great. It's not easy being a pioneer in anything. Sweden Strong will turn into Zeus, instantly gets sharpshooter to the face, and they're going in with the hook shots. Four staff away, Miposhka caught in it, but oh uh, Jira now with the BKB, losing a lot of his mana, not doing anything, almost dies to the physical damage of Collapse. He turns around, there are some four steps on one win, but the Gleipnir will keep them in place as Mungushi tries to get away. The shards keeping him in place as he will have a way to escape with the BKB. Actually, no escape for him. They turn around once again onto the Monkey King, the Requiem as well. Well, figuring out everybody, do they have enough to finish off the auto? Yes, 
he does lose his life but what about the rest of these spirit there no pushovers either they will be losing the sf a fall off on Chiro who had no mana to leave the shards of the tusk and the buyback from the clockwork without your two cores the damage is non-existent on one win they can only hide in their fountain while team spirit brings this game and this series to an end yeah i mean you could see the glimpses of brilliance there from one win they somehow force a, a, a terrible fight and become, become a mediocre fight, I guess. But, oh yeah, they're, they're just too far behind as Morphling <laughs> can just watch as everyone dies. And yeah, GG gets called and Kushi is done. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be seeing this support Morphling on...